Alright guys, I thought I'd just do two parts because you guys might not want to just sit down for 10 minutes or even 15 minutes and just watch me rambling or maybe take a break, have a drink, get some food, whatever, uh, do something, then go and watch part two. So yeah, uh, going on back to the questions, uh, 89 Gunny, uh, 89, who inspired you to do YouTube videos? The main the main sole kind of um, inspiration for me was Chris J Web 1, also Sim3218, Latley 3D, Forkable, Mr. Movie Lover 1998, The Flick Pick, Jeremy Jarns, Called Duda, Wet Movie 1, Swamp Me Searcher, them, them kind of people. Um, name one movie you can watch over and over and over again, can never get bored of, The Godfather, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. I'm not going to name one because I can't really just say one. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia, even though it's like four hours, I can just fucking watch that movie any day. Taxi Driver, Chinatown. Uh, but more kind of funny, I like f comedy films. So Step Brothers, Elf, Massive Will Ferrell Fan, Anchorman, um, Superbad, Zombieland, people, stuff like that. Alright, thanks, 89 Gunny, 89. Uh, cheers, mate, for your questions. Blu ray Betty, thanks for the QA. No problem, mate. Favourite scene from The Dark Knight Rises? Favourite scene from The Dark Knight Rises is the epic fight between Batman and Bane down in that sewer. Not the first fight. This, no, the first fight, not the second fight. The second fight is just overdone and they just did it to do like make it try an epic, but it didn't, it didn't really sue it. But when he breaks his back in that massive fight, it actually seemed like Batman was really, really struggling against Bane because he's a fucking like seven foot giant with a fucking mask over his head. He's scary as hell. I remember seeing that in the cinema and I was scared, mate. Scared shitless. Um, also, I like the opening where Bane is unmasked, going through the Scottish Highlands on that fucking massive plane. That was epic. Oh, my God. Um, Favourite scene from Prometheus? The massive crater boulder just going down. Charlie's three on. Numira Pass just trying to run away from it. That was awesome. And the opening scene with the guy who just eats that tablet and his whole... Visually, that looks st stunning where all his body just starts to disintegrate like a fucking nuclear bomb. That was epic. Uh, both them films, I love them. They were some of my favourite films of last year, obviously. Uh, favourite board game, Monopoly, because I just play it loads. Best 3D film you saw at the cinema, and why Life of Pi? Because it was actually worth seeing in 3D. Um, actually came out with you, it, it looked really nice. It actually suited in 3D, others just shit. Uh, come face to face with Vampire World for Zombie. In apocalypse terms, a zombie because you'd actually probably have a chance to survive, just have a fucking 12 gauge shotgun, shoot him in the head and run off. Uh, a vampire would just come to your neck and eat you, a werewolf would rip you apart, but if I had to meet someone, it obviously would be a vampire, and that vampire would be Dracula. Uh, preferably Gary Oldman's Dracula. Most disappointing film of 2012? Uh, Looper. I mean, I liked it, but... I'd watch it again, I'd probably buy it when it comes down to at least a fiver, but I thought it was over, really, really overhyped, quite overrated, but overall, I, I enjoyed it, but I was a bit disappointed by it. Um, mostly, though, every film I saw last year, I, was, I wasn't I was disappointed by. Um, I, I wasn't really disappointed by it, I just, I thought it was going to be a bit better. Uh, so thanks, um, Blu-ray Betty. Mr. BP92, what's the first 15 you saw at the cinema? That was W.E., I think, Madonna film, I can't really remember that at all. Uh, what still do you want? I want most of them cinema release, um, cinema reserve, some of them. The Warner Bros. ones like Grand Hotel, Jazz Singer, North by Northwest, Maltese Falcon, Casablanca. Got the Treasure of Syria, Mandalay. Uh, can I actually pronounce that now? Yeah, I got that one and I really, really want more of them. But the ultimate one I want is probably the Sin City one, which is going for about 50 to £60. Pound. Uh, do you find, what actress do you find most fit? I don't want to say something controversial like Selena Gomez because she's been fucked by Justin Bieber over and over again. So yeah, maybe not. Um, I'd say the one I find most like attractive and most like nice, uh, Amber Heard. <laughs> yeah, I think she's a lesbian, but fuck, she is hot. Uh, basically, if you don't know what fit means, it means like hot, sexy, attractive and all that. Amber Heard, definitely. Watch her in the rum diary. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you will blush. Um... Thanks, Mr. BP92, Pat the Film Guy. Great YouTuber, check him out, guys. Pat the Film Guy, awesome YouTuber. What was the first film you saw at the cinema? That was Finding Neverland, the Peter Pan one. I can't remember much of it, but I remember somebody telling me I watched that. What was your favourite still book? My favourite still book in my collection is The Untouchable Scarface or The Treasure of Syria Madre or Hellboy Blue Stomach. One of them thought, I think it's Scarface, to be honest. Uh, what was your favourite superhero film? One word, three words, sorry. Um, and I'm pre pretty sure it's. It's too good to be a superhero film. It's actually one of my favourite films fucking ever. And it's most people's... Them three words are... The. Dark. Night.
enough said. The Dark Fucking Knight is the best superhero film that's ever going to be made. Nothing is ever going to beat it, and I am sticking my, my my fucking life to that. The Dark Knight, it just it is it is more than a superhero film. It's a heist film, drama, mafia. It's just fucking everything, and that film is just perfect. Um, what's your favorite guilty pleasure? Moonraker. Uh, I don't really have lots of guilty pleasure, but I know that James, for James Bond time is Moonraker. Um, Jiggly, Jiggly, uh, the, the the weird Ben Affleck one with Jennifer Lopez. I mean, I watched it. It was funny, but it's got like a one point four rating. It's like the tenth worst film ever made. But I I, I quite laughed at it. I thought it was quite a funny. Uh, and then finally, final questions for this Q and A uh, is Savlad. What is your favorite quote speech from a movie? Um, again, I got a couple. Probably the my most iconic one is from my favorite film of all time, The Godfather. And there is uh, obviously. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Um, it was only business from The Godfather. Pax Javi, you're talking to me, Scarface. Um, obviously. Say hello to my little friend. That one was fucking amazing. Uh, you fucking piece of shit cockroach from Scarface. Uh, get two coffins from a fistful of dollars. Uh, the Good, the Bad and the Ugly. That's a great quote where he goes... Um, there's two kinds of people in this world, Tuko. Those who dig and those who die. You dig. No, those who dig and those who carry guns. You dig. That was awesome. And uh, obviously the massive monologue from Dirty Harry. Yeah, they're, they're some of my favourite films. That's why. Uh, do you have subscribe to Sky Movies, Netflix, or Love Film? Uh, I did subscribe for Love Film for a bit. But, uh, yeah, just cancelled my subscription. I think I was thinking about getting Netflix for a TV because apparently it's only £5 a month, but I'm not really sure. I did subscribe for Sky Movies for a bit, but then I figured, nah, no point more. Favourite Bond girl? Obviously, Ursula Andrews from Doctor No. Whew, mate. She is nice. Um, and Baroness Marla from Skyfall. Fuck, she looked nice in the cinema. <laughs> and then, is there a franchise as, ba as bad as Twilight film? Never seen Twilight. It's a piece... I know. I'm never going to watch it. I can't really say it's a piece of shit because I've never watched it, but I'm not going to bother my time with that because what the fuck, man? Twilight? Come on, no way. Um, but I can think of shit's franchises, I think. Uh, the Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. That's a pretty shy franchise. Especially the, the third one. The second one's pretty bad. The, fir the first one is bad. The third one shouldn't even be a fucking movie. But uh, the second one's alright. Um, nah, yeah, they're the only ones I can think. Uh, I do think that Star Wars is an overrated franchise, but obviously it's, it's fucking amazing. But it is overrated if you think about it a bit. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna check out Twilight. I'm not. I'm, I've just been offered it all the time. I just said I don't want to watch it. I just don't want to watch some fucking random girl who gets with the vampire. And it's just their love story. I don't want to watch it. It just seems like... No. Just just no, really. But yeah, guys. That's just my uh, answers for your questions. Personal message me. Comment more. I'll do a, a third part if I can. Alright, guys. Thanks.